Secure the building. Secure the building. Safety's on, dipshit. Hey, old man. Was Raul Menendez here today? Sergeant Woods! Raul Menendez is the leader of Cortes Dia. And the most dangerous terrorist since Osama bin Laden. <laughs> Fucking waste of time. Guy's a vegetable. Back off! All he said was, mi hermana. That's Spanish for sister, dipshit. You boys better get your shit together. He's gonna attack. If you have information about a threat to national security, you gotta tell us. Turn the camera on. Your old man. He's doing okay in Alaska. Fucking Hudson showed up. Dad, I'm scared. I, I need help. You're seven years old, David. Stop acting like a baby. David, wait! Go back to the army, like you did when Mom died. Lieutenant Colonel North, NSC. You already know Jason Hudson. What are you doing here? Yesterday, Sergeant Woods led a covert team to take on an arms smuggling ring in Angola. This morning, we lost contact. So go get him, CIA. Why are you here? Castro and the Russians are all over Angola. We can't go in. The CIA have buried the mission. Woods and his squad no longer exist. We got whatever you need, Mason. Name it. David can stay with Jenny, like before. She loves having him. He'll be fine. Dad, you said you'd never go back to the army. You promised me. It's Uncle Woods, son. He'd do it for me. They found where I was being held prisoner with a spy satellite. One of them KH-9s was babying. Shits out of film canners for 12 miles up. When the C-130 comes by, snags it at about 30,000 feet. This was not the digital age. This film had to be processed, analyzed, and delivered all by hand. Our dog in the fight. This guy named Jonas Savimbi. <laughs> you think I'm fucking nuts? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> no! I need help over here! Hold on! Mason! Savimbi, you gotta help! Damn it! Fire Sometimes it's too late to save a man. Let's move out before we join him in death. The more to fire me, the MPLA is ready for attack. They want a fight. We give them a fight. Move out. Mason, you copy? Go ahead, Hudson. MPLA forces advancing on your position about one click north. Hey, we know! Smimby's leading a counter charge. He's got balls, I'll give him that. What about Woods? Do we have confirmation on his location? They've been moving him from one location to another. We expect Smimby's men to report back soon.
The motors have stopped! Here they come! Here they come, my brothers! Fight, my brothers! Nice work, Hudson. There's a couple of MG trucks targeting you. I can't make another pass, so you take out those MG trucks. I'm doing them. MG trucks are down. You clear, Hudson?
victory has begun! Death to the MPLA!
Tô na abertura! Container! Give me a hand with the spacer! Come on, man! Woods, are you in there, brother? Bodies have badly decomposed. These men have been dead for weeks. Woods. Frank? We've probably attracted the attention of every MPLA foot soldier in the area. We need to move. Come on, Woods, I've got you. I got you, brother. <laughs> Village ahead. The antenna means they've got a radio. We can call Savimbi for emergency extraction. Hold! Take cover behind that lock.
Hold. Take cover behind that log. What the hell are Cubans doing here? <laughs> They're just kids. Que que estão fazendo, idiota? Volta ao seu lugar. Soldados inimigos foram vistos na área. Você, que maneira é essa de segurar seu fuzil? Você se chama de soldado? Volta ao seu lugar. Continua chorando por sua mãe? Você quer ser criança ou quer ser homem? Mexe-se. Procura a área toda por eles. Let's move. <laughs> Stay low, keep your head down. Don't move, let them pass. Okay, on my lead, we run for the wooden hut. Now! More patrols passing by. On my go, we head for the grass. Stay close. Whole position. They're right in front of us. Okay, we're clear. Move out of the grass. You'll be okay, Frank. I'm gonna radio for help. I'll take care of Woods. Watch yourself up there. Try not to draw any more attention. Do not concern yourself with local politics. Prosta Marianietka. Kakiti. Dil. Katskazano. You are a dead man unless you do exactly as I say. Tune the radio to. You are going to kill me, see? No one move or this fucker gets it! The American le está diciendo que no se mueva. Shut up! <laughs> Él piensa que está en control, pero él no es. I say shut up! Lower your weapon! I swear to God, I'll kill this bastard! Los americanos no saben nada sobre la lealtad. Quizás nosotros deberíamos demostrar. You son of a bitch! We're moving! Get to the beach! Did you secure an evac? Negative! We're on our own! Head for the river! Damn it, Mason! Sounds like half the village is on our ass! What the fuck happened back there? Can it, Hudson! Just keep moving! They're closing in on us! We gotta buy some time! Get up high! 
Allies, provide cover fire! Got him, Mason. you, kid. That's how it started. Her old man tries to kill Menendez. Menendez wants payback, even if it takes decades. Menendez, back then, was a, uh, a big fish in a small pond. He made his cake on the drug cartel out of Nicaragua. There's a hand-me-down. Mm -hmm. The CIA smoked his old man. Old Cyclops is pretty pissed at America. While we're fucking around in the Middle East, the Russians and the Chinese are getting real cozy. Huh. Now, the politicians, they want you to think this is about ideology. It's a lot of horse shit. Give me your phone. Go ahead. Rare Earth Elements. Whole fucking world runs on this shit. <laughs> Who controls all of it? China. So while corporate America is kissing China's ass... Now the mysterious Cortes Diaz social network has crowdsourced simultaneous protests in both Iran and North Korea. Never seen in public, who really is the leader of Cortes Diaz? He's known only as Odysseus. Odysseus? My ass. <laughs> Raul fucking Menendez. Asshole. I told JSOC, but they were too busy. See, the drone race had started. I mean, really, guys? You're gonna build an entire military based on a mineral element that's wholly controlled by China? And you drink dipshit. No, oh, God. Give me a soda. Get it from the nurse's stash. None of that diet crap. China's Premier Chen is outraged by Cortes Diaz's leaked memo, alleging the cyber attack was covertly ordered by the White House. And through all the dirty shit the U.S. government's gotten away with, this time, they're innocent and no one fucking believes them. They take out Cortes Diaz's network. Two days later, the director of the FBI burned alive. Right now, a billion people believe that Raul Menendez is their savior. Shh. Guess what, boys? He's not. You better take him out pretty fucking quick. That shit's gonna happen. And then there's got a whole private fucking army hidden out there. Cubans. Elite rank. State-of-the-art tech. How many followers does Cortes Diaz have right now? What, a billion people? Try two billion. You'll never believe their leader's a terrorist. They think Menendez is their savior. They've got a hell of a disappointment coming. That's all I could say. Time to go see what Menendez has got hidden down there. You ready, Harper? Keep momentum on your swing. Don't want to be left hanging.
surface is a little uneven. Jam hard with the nano gloves. So far, so good. Ready? Okay, hot shot, your turn. One more time. Let's go. to you. Wide open. A little more than a skeleton crew. Walk in the park, baby. No seas idiota. Do not underestimate Raul Menendez. His followers sure did. And what does Cortes do you mean exactly? It's Latin. Heart pain or some shit like that. Sounds like something noble. That's what Menendez wants his followers to believe. Trust me, it isn't. Crosby, you're up. Salazar, Crosby, you got the left side? Cover, ready on your goal. Kragan, this is Harper. Come in. Enemy is preparing to leave location. Advise. We need firm intel on the capabilities. You are clear to engage. Section, you seen this? Yeah. Be ready to move on my kill. An EMP grenade will fry their cloaking systems. Let's get moving! Give these bastards a taste of their 
own medicine. Push forward. Don't let him bleed. More to this facility underground. Kraken, this is section. Surface installation is neutralized. Moving to investigate secondary structure. Let's blow it. Stand back. Watch your step. Floodwaters may have weakened the structure. Holy shit! Look at this! What we saw up top was just a front. Walls are several meters thick. We lose comms inside. Update Briggs. Tell them we're moving in. Dragon, this is Harper. Confirming SciTech installation beneath the temple. Requesting immediate cleanup and containment unit to our location. Be advised, we will lose comms as soon as we make our entry. Kraken confirms. Ground team moving for immediate insertion. Stand by for ETA. Salazar, get it open. Enemy's optic systems. We need to get our techs working on analysis. Maybe you should shoot up. They'll barely see you. All right. Son of a bitch! They got an ASD! His strap's too tough! Spread out! Clear the area!
Okay, we're clear. This is 3D fabrication tech. Weapons, components, armor. Menendez is arming himself for war. Woods told us how much wealth Menendez built over the years. He's been investing in weapons tech. Somebody's here. Please, don't hurt me! Okay, come on out! This lab is linked to a known terrorist. You start talking, or I will hurt you. My name is Eric Reiner. I'm a magnetometrist. Yeah? And what is, uh, Menendez's interest in you, buddy? They brought me here to process the solarium. It's a new, rare earth element that will render all existing microchip technologies obsolete. They're coming. Get me out of here alive. I'll give you everything. Down! Shields! Shut him down his cover! These fuckers mean business! This way. The locking mechanism requires two operators. On your go. Follow me! This single device has more processing power than your entire military infrastructure. Rumors around the lab were that Menendez plans to use it as a basis for a massive cyber attack. I, I heard talk of something called Karma. It may be the, the name for the cyber weapon. If Menendez uses a solarium worm to initiate an attack, there will be nothing anyone can do to stop it. Get a sit rep on the support team! Behind us! We got incoming! Crack it! 
Harper requesting confirmation on extraction team's ETA. Defensive positions! Kraken, come in! Damn it, no response. We'll fight our way out, with or without support. This ain't over yet! It's Briggs! Stand out! It's the extraction team! Boy, are you a sight for sore eyes. I guess we can call this mission accomplished. Admiral Briggs, good to see you. You too, Sergeant. Whatever Menendez is planning, Solarium is the key to it. Well, we finally got one over on this cocksucker. He's just a man, Admiral. He'd like you to think he's something more, but he ain't nothing but a sad old pitiful excuse of a man. I can't figure out Menendez without getting inside his fucking head. Salazar, you grew up in Nicaragua during his rise to power. You know his legends better than anyone. Tell me, why does he hate us so much? Tu primera guerra fría. As a boy, he witnessed the country's rape and murder his people. In 1972, there was a colossal earthquake. His family lost everything. A year later, the only thing he ever loved, his sister Josefina, was crippled in a fire. Raul and his father started over, sold drugs for easy money. They became rich, powerful legends of Managua. The Menendez cartel was all but untouchable. So the CIA took a Raul's father in a U.S. sanctioned assassination. Right, so now Menendez fucking hated America and started running guns in Afghanistan for his own private army. CIA got wind of it, went on the hunt for him in Kabul. That was the photo Wood showed us in the vault, remember? See that handsome bastard? That's me. The only one's your father. After Nam. The numbers and all that? I mean, he was one dangerous son of a bitch. <laughs> It's showtime, Mason! What'd you see, Woods? Sand. Sand and more fucking sand. Hudson's contact's on his way. You reckon we can trust the Chinese? We can't hear. They've been supporting the Mujahideen same as us. They know if Russia was in Afghanistan, they'd be looking at China next. No one likes the Russians, huh? You know me, I don't like anyone. You might want to get your head down. Take it easy, Sal! We deliver the weapons. Now, what about your end of the deal? I will take you to the leader of the Mujahideen. He can help you find Raoul Menendez. We have fresh horses. You will follow. Oh shit. Let's do it. Mason, it's Hudson. Did you make contact with Jiao? We're on our way to the Mujahideen camp now. I'm sure I don't need to remind you that our presence here must remain 100% deniable. There will be serious consequences if Russia learns of our involvement in Afghanistan. Yo, that ain't gonna happen. We must hurry. We believe the Soviets are about to launch an attack on the camp. Major, kick it up yeah. up here! Yeah!
This way. If a Russian attack is indeed imminent, you're gonna need all the help you can get. I've arranged for a couple of specialists to act in an advisory capacity. Here they are now. Rahman, this is Woods and Mason, my two best men. We need weapons, not soldiers. <sighs> this should be good. Just so we're clear, we hold off the Russian attack, you give us what you have on Menendez. Our base is here. Any advance will come through one of the narrow passes leading into the valley. I know this. Our men defend these mountains. Our weapons will give them an edge. That's a bullshit plan. You're talking about the Russian army here. They come at you with brute force, which means strength in numbers and heavy armor. Are your men ready for that? They have no experience with the weaponry we brought. And we do. We belong on the front line. The Russian assault has begun. Yalla! Yalla! Borobirun! You have faith in your plans, America. I got more than faith, Zhao. Let's rock it. We must hurry! We cannot allow them to enter the valley! Settle up, Mason. Tougher than we thought. We got hips dropping infantry right in front of the camp. Leave that to the Mujahideen. Just get to the choke points and hold back the armor. history!
Tanks are still moving, Mason. Russian tanks are right at our doorstep. The Bush can't hold off the attack. The ammo cache is ours. You fight bravely, American. Mason, return to base. We have a problem. What kind of problem? You better see for yourself. was one tough son of a bitch. Bet your ass he was. Kravchenko basically carved the hole in his head and he shoved those fucking numbers in there and he survived that. No. Mason said he didn't see those numbers anymore, but I don't know. No, 
not so sure about that. Mason. This isn't over yet. The Russians want to give us one last display of brute force. Let's give them one last display of courage. You with me? Kravchenko. Piece of shit. Of course he's involved in all this. Kravchenko must die. A couple times, I saw the tick. They get that look in his eyes, they're scanning the room. <laughs> Next thing you know, he's talking to the Russian. Fucking Reznov. Good old Tricky Vic. Woods, maybe I should handle this interrogation. Neither you see the fuck out of my way. I can unfinished business with this bastard. I left you to rot in Vietnam, Sergeant Woods. You should be dead. Well, nobody told me. Buddy Raman tells me you're doing business with a Nicaraguan. And Raul Menendez. What do you do for him? <laughs> you believe in an eye for an eye? Huh? This is a Mujahideen, baby. They'll bury you up to your neck, peel your eyelids back, and leave you to fry in the desert. I'll take you out quick. Tell me about Menendez. The fuck are you doing? Menendez told me you must suffer. You face piece of shit. We helped you fight the Russians on your side. No. No, you are and always will be our true enemy. Without water and shelter, you may last a day. If you are strong! Father think he rides up on a horse to save us? Tricky Vic. Yeah, see? You're just like your old man. No, it wasn't him. That's not. Come on, if you think it was him, don't you think he would have stuck around for a bit, huh? Maybe explain some shit? <laughs> 